kids, it's nice to be with you again. This is your teacher, Julie. I hope to have fun with you as we explore a new lesson in science today. Come and learn with me. There are different materials found at home. These are important because they are used in our daily activities, such as cooking, cleaning, treating ailments, doing personal hygiene, and many more. Kids, are you reading labels in materials? Let us call our friend. Knock, knock. Dr. Einstein, what are these labels in materials? And where can we find them? A label is a piece of paper, plastic film, cloth, metal or other materials affixed to a container or product on which is written or printed information or symbols about the product or item. The purpose of the label is to provide useful and relevant information about the product as well as to help market the product. Processed foods, patented drugs, textiles, and numerous other products are required by law to carry a fairly complete list of their ingredients. All labels are required to have pictograms, a signal word, hazard and precautionary statements, the product identifier, and supplier identification. Safety and warning labels are a necessity for keeping consumers and employees aware of any dangerous situations that may arise. Whether it's unsafe aspects of work equipment or a product itself, clearly identified and legible safety and warning labels will keep those susceptible aware of the potential hazards. Thank you, Dr. Einstein. You are such a brilliant friend. Kids, you will see pictures of household products that will be flashed on your TV screen. Classify the pictures according to its use. Write P for personal care, F for food product, M for medicine, C for cleaning, and PE for pesticides. Number one is bleach. What is your answer? Correct! The answer is C. Number two is canned goods. What is your answer? You got it right! The answer is F. Number three is face powder. What is your answer? Good job! The answer is P. Number four is paracetamol. What is your answer? You got it right! It's M. Number five is shampoo. What is your answer? Correct! It's P. Number six, insecticide spray. What is your answer? Good job! The answer is P. Number seven is toothpaste. What is your answer? You got it right! The answer is P. Number 8 is bread. What is your answer? Good job! The answer is F. Number 9 is cough syrup. What is your answer? Great! It's M. Number 10 is this washing liquid. What is your answer? That's right, it's C. What is your score? If you got 10, excellent. If you got 8 and 9, you are very good. 5 to 7, you are good. 4 and below, try harder. Our next activity is identifying materials according to purpose. Write U for useful or H for harmful. First picture is decaying drain batteries. What is your answer? 
Correct! The answer is H. Second picture is a bottle of rubbing alcohol used for sanitizing. What is your answer? Good job! The answer is you! Third picture is a pack of detergent used for laundry. What is your answer? You got it right! The answer is you! Fourth picture is a bottle of muriatic acid left open. What is your answer? Very good! The answer is H. It should be kept out of your reach. Fifth picture is expired medicine. What is your answer? Awesome! The answer is H. Kids, for safety purpose, always check labels of materials. Now, let's check your understanding of common labels. Match the picture of label that will be flashed on your TV screen to its corresponding product. Let's start! Kids, what is your score? I hope you did well. Let's continue. Do you see a green and red button? Sentences will be flashed. Write green if the sentence is true. Write red if the sentence is false. Kids, read with me. Number one. Consumers must read product labels when buying grocery items. What is your answer? Correct! Number 2. Place fertilizers in containers and label them as poisonous. What is your answer? Good job! Number 3. You can throw plastic bottles anywhere after using them. What is your answer? Very good! Number 4. Labels are not important in classifying materials whether useful or harmful. What is your answer? Great job! Number 5. Food allergen warnings are helpful for those who have allergies. What is your answer? Awesome! What is your score? I know you did great! Various household products are found in our homes. These are composed of different materials with different properties. It is therefore important for consumers to read product labels. Through product labels, consumers become aware of whether the product is harmful or not. Useful materials are those that can be used for other purposes, can be recycled, can be dumped straight into a landfill, and something can be recovered from it. Harmful materials, on the other hand, are toxic to us, can cause injury, cannot be dumped straight into a landfill, can pollute the environment, and take too much time to decompose. Expiration dates and hazardous signs are some of the most important elements in a product label. Some products are flammable, such as paints, and therefore must be stored away from open flames. Others are corrosive, like muriatic acid, so it is advisable to keep it away from children's reach. Pesticides, fertilizers, and muriatic acid are poisonous if not handled properly. Here are some examples of important labels we need to recognize.
Best if used by. Best by. Best before. Sell by. What do all these labels mean? Chances are you've thrown away food that passed its expiration date even though it hasn't expired. Only a few products like baby food and over-the-counter drugs have dates on them that detail when products are no longer safe to consume. The dates found on most other foods, from mayonnaise to Pop-Tarts to canned beans, refer to the manufacturer's estimate of when a food will still taste its best, not how safe it is to eat. These quality-based dates are generally set far before a food spoilage point. But confusion regarding food freshness leads to enormous quantities of food being thrown out. In the United States, about 20% of all at-home food waste is attributed to misunderstanding date labels. That's over 5 million tons of unspoiled food that is thrown out annually. Enough food to feed about 5 million Americans every year. Meanwhile, one in seven Americans lacks access to sufficient, affordable, and nutritious food. Understanding date labels and food safety is the first step to reducing unnecessary food waste. When food is kept refrigerated and sealed, it is often safe to eat well past its best buy date. And one of the best ways to test if something is still edible is simply smell, look, and touch. So think twice before throwing away that can of beans just because it's past its best buy date. Change can start with each of us, at the grocery store and at the dinner table. Kids, read with me the following situations. Maria saw a tube with label super glue. Curious, she opened it and poured the content to her palm. Ouch! Mother! Mother! Help me! Her mother approached her, worrying, and asked, Oh, what happened to you, my dear? Check this another story. Terry saw a tube with label super glue. Curious, she saw the X mark and read the label super glue. Mother! Mother! she called. Oh, what happened, my dear? Mother! I saw this tube marked X. Where shall I safely put this? Kids, who do you think did the correct way of handling the super glue? You are right, it is Terry. Kids, always remember that reading product labels can help you identify whether the product is useful or harmful. These simple symbols and labels give ideas on how to use and store the product properly. And in order to help prevent accidents from happening and therefore save lives. You can share what you have learned to your friends and family so they will know too. Great job kids! You have learned the importance of labels in identifying useful and harmful materials. It is now your time to do the other activities found in your module. Get your module 2 on importance of labels in identifying useful and harmful materials. Go to pages 7 and 8. There are activities and assessments that you need to independently answer. When you're finished answering, contact the number of your teachers found in your instructional kit. Or you could email or send via messenger or SMS. I hope you had fun learning with me where science is made easy with Teacher Julie.